My name is Jamie Feynman. I am actually the director of admission at Foreman School. And Foreman School is the school that is running this new initiative of ours called Ingenuity Year. It's our new gap year programming. So I just wanna give you a little history on Foreman real quick. We are a co-ed boarding school located in Litchfield, Connecticut. We have been serving since 1930, bright students who learn differently. John Foreman actually knew Albert Einstein from Princeton and we've had the same mission since the very beginning. So John, I mean, Albert Einstein sat in our original board of directors. He was part of our original science curriculum and he and John Foreman shared a vision that it is possible to be both brilliant and it is suspected that Einstein was dyslexic. So it's possible to be both brilliant and to learn differently and to not fit into the cookie cutter mold of school. And that is the foundation of Foreman School and who we are. And we are taking that expertise that we have had for about almost 100 years now, working with kids who learn differently, and bringing that to our gap year program. So Ingenuity Year, our upcoming program, is really going to focus on climate change in coastal Maine. And this program is really meant to be experiential in nature. We know from having worked with kids who learn differently for a very long time that it is everybody learns best, but especially kids who learn differently with ADHD or dyslexia, something like that, having hands on an opportunity to get out of the classroom, do work, um, reconnect with some joy and spark and figure out what motivates you is essential to growing. So the program is gonna focus on personal growth on the large scale, and we're gonna do that by exploring climate change. So <clears throat> with climate change, um, it's one of the most pressing issues of our time. It's global and it affects everybody. So our plan is to look at this global phenomenon through the lens of coastal Maine. It is a ripe and unique area to do this kind of investigation because right now there's actually tons of changes happening right in the Gulf of Maine where waters are actually warming 99% faster than the rest of the ocean. So it is a great place to actually get into the experience of it, to see, feel, taste, and experience what climate change is doing to an entire community. So this program is really gonna focus on first the foundations, the global context of climate change, what that looks like in the context of the state of Maine, and start to explore some key points, essential questions that the program will come back to throughout the 10 weeks. And then it's really going to start focusing on doing that through looking at the challenges facing communities. So looking at the lobstering industry, the fishing industry, et cetera, and understanding what this looks like. So for example, like the lobstering industry, the warming waters of Maine have been amazing for the lobster production. It's lobsters have exploded. Lobster men are doing super well, but, and they're, you know, getting record amounts of lobsters, but at the same time, market prices are lower than they've ever been and the cost of bait has exploded. So there's a real economic issue here, there's a community issue here, and at the end of the day, these communities are not making much more money, and if the lobsters, I mean, if the water continues to warm, we're looking at the potential collapse of the entire industry. And so our students are gonna be exploring, looking at what this is gonna do on every level, from community to the science of the climate, to the water, to the economics of it, and how that affects everybody. And so one of the ways that we're going to be doing this is by looking at and having these direct experiences through a variety of different projects and partnerships that we have. So our students are going to be looking at lobster pots, soft shell clam research, weather station research, tidal marsh restoration, doing a jellyfish survey and a biological survey. And along the way, they're going to learn how to do surveys and field work and get skills in those areas. And then this data is actually going to be part of an ongoing research project with, part, with our partners. So these are partners who are working on climate change research now, studying things like marsh restoration through the Kennebuck um, Estuary Land Trust and all of these different partners working in this research. So all of our students' hard work is going to go into real climate change research. And on the personal growth side, the program is really gonna help you explore who are you as a person and who are you as a learner? So what are your passions? What do you wanna get excited about? This is an opportunity to figure out what makes you tick, to kind of get away from the noise of real life and society and social media. Being a coastal Maine, you have low cell service, but it's fine. You'll make it through. Um, and you'll also start to understand yourself as a learner. 
So one of the things at Form is that we talk very openly about our learning differences, whether it's dyslexia or ADHD, but we also realize there's plenty of students, it's not a requirement that you have an official diagnosis for this program, there also are plenty of students who just may feel like school was never a great fit. It wasn't a perfect experience for them. So we're gonna work on learning how to use assistive technology, how to get some executive function coaching guidance, how to figure out who you are as a learner and what types of opportunities are available to you in the real world that you can take with you when you make your next steps after gap year programming and take those with you to college. So our students are gonna work on research projects, capstone projects, um, and they're going to be doing all of this while gaining some insight into the way that they learn, which is a lot. I'm going as fast as I can. Um, and then the last but not least, I know my time is wrapping up. I want to give you some program details on what that looks like. So the gap year programming for us for the Ingenuity year is 10 weeks. Right now it's focused on climate change and global global climate change in coastal Maine. And eventually we'll expand to more programs. But the, the dates right now for spring are March 15th to May 24th. Our fall program is in September. We are taking about 15 students ages 17 to 21. We will have executive function coaches and student leaders. And I am standing in for our director, Kai Johnson, but I put his contact details up here. We'd both be very happy to talk to you more about any questions that you have. And we hope we will get the chance to do that. Thanks so much for joining us tonight.